Greetings, Mac Warriors. This is Blackhawk SC. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about the Atlas, uh, specifically the A7RS variant. Uh, before we go into this build, um, first we want to talk about uh, atlases in general. So, atlases are perhaps one of the game's best brawlers. Uh, lots of armor, uh, a good amount of weapons. So, ever since the quirks came out, um, you know, PGI has been trying to specialize the different variants for different purposes. And the way that they have done it is basically making the S variant, the DDC, and the D variant uh, to be kind of brawlers, and the RS and the K to be sort of mid to long range um, variants. Now, because of how the current metagame is working right now, um, most people would agree that um, the best Atlas variants are the ones that have, that actually brawl. So the RS and the K are kind of sort of left behind. So I'm not going to talk about the boar's head right now because um, it's a pretty expensive mech and not that many people are going to buy it. Um, so I want to give a little plug to why you should get the RS for your third variant um, instead of maybe either the D or the S or the DDC. It's up to you. Um, so I would say, you know, if you want to master chassis, you obviously need three variants of that chassis. Do you really want to master, you know, all brawlers? I think it's kind of boring. So uh, you would either really go for the RS or the K. And the K just doesn't have the hard points. Uh, it's a little bit worse on the hard points than the RS is. So going into the build itself, so we have four large lasers, uh, one gauss rifle. As I mentioned, uh, the, RLS, the RS is geared towards mid-range combat uh, with its large laser um, quirks. So it has large laser range and uh, large, laser, large laser cooldown. And I think the gauss rifle fits this build um, very well. Um, again, you can put an AC-20 in there, but you want to kind of complement the large lasers with another weapon that's of the same range. So the large lasers with the range quirk and with the range module will take this uh, above 500 meters. You know, I forgot what the exact number was. But that kind of puts you at the mid-range where your gauze rifles will also do max damage. The other thing about the gauze rifle, which complements the large lasers really well, is that it generates almost no heat whatsoever. So when you're really hot, uh, you can fire your gauze rifle only and you know be able to cool down at the same time. You could also put an AC-10 there, but I probably would not recommend it because less firepower and it generates 3 heat, which seems insignificant at first, but know that you know if you're over if you're near overheating then you know having that three heat is actually not so great for you it might actually cause you to shut down so one thing to note is that on metamex.com gman's website um he has a pretty similar build for the uh atlas rs uh what he does is he removes the ams um, and he kind of ups the leg armor a bit, strips the left ar arm of some armor. I kind of um, didn't want to strip the left arm and in case you actually needed to shield. Um, and, you know, in pug matches, like, people don't really go for your legs that all that much, so I have it down to 50. Uh, he doesn't really like AMSs. Um, I just have an AMS because, you know, at least in the pug matches that I'm in, uh, we do see a good amount of lerms, so... I think that's a good system to have. So let's talk a little bit about gameplay. Um, in general, you want to not be in the middle of the fight. Uh, this is not a brawler, as we mentioned. Keep your distance at around 400 to 600 meters, and where your large lasers are, and your gauze rifles are doing their max damage. One added benefit of staying at the 400 to 600 range is that, you know, Atlas is a huge target, right? But uh, at that at that range, um, you know, people, it's a little bit harder for people to hit your CT. Uh, they might be going, they might actually hit your arms. So for like maybe like the 
kind of average skilled player uh, that you see in uh, solo matches, um, you know, you get a lot better damage spread when you're like not so close to the enemy. The thing with a lot of brawlers have is that, you know, uh, you, in a brawl, your side torsos and your your CT goes very quickly. Um, so this, the play style that, you know, this Atlas has, you know, you still have a lot of armor, but you're kind of, um, you're, you're going to try to preserve it to when your team really needs it. And other times, you're just kind of like spreading damage around and supporting your your friendlies. The other thing you have to pay attention to is your heat level. So the large, the four large lasers are very hot. You typically do not want to alpha strike all four at the same time because of ghost heat. I uh, recommend doing two and two. And if you're getting hot, just stick with the gauze rifle. Uh, don't even bother with the lasers. So for the modules, um, I recommend the large laser range and then gauze rifle cooldown. This will, again, make the large laser range and the gauze rifle range kind of sync up together a little bit better than uh, without the modules. Um, so I, I, you don't really want to have a large laser cooldown because it's not really going to help. Uh, it's so hot. I mean, you can't really do much more damage than you know what you can do right now without the module. As far as the mech modules, um, the standard three, the advanced size mix, target info, and radar deprivation is the one that I recommend. So let's go and see what it can do. All right, here we go. So notice that we're on Viridian Bog. Uh, this is not a cool map, so you'll probably have to be a little bit more heat aware than in some other maps. Uh, one thing I didn't mention before is the amount of gauze rifle ammo that I take. Um, you know, three tons is typically enough for uh, this build. Um, in most cases, I would say um, your gauze is actually going to get destroyed. Um, so, you know, maybe at the end of the match, hopefully. So, I wouldn't invest that much uh, tonnage to gauze ammo. And people just aim for the Atlas um, right torso a lot of times because they know that that big ballistic Artillery is there. Strike online. Also, notice the cool shot that, it, that I take. Um, it's a hot build, like I said, so just make sure you. If you get into trouble, you can use that cool shot. Target acquired. So again, you're slow, so you don't Target have to... Acquired. Um, kind of, it's kind of beneficial for you to be kind of slower in this case, be a more of a support mech. See, I'm not like right out in front of the enemies or anything. A new target acquired. New target acquired. Again, no need to push out. New target um, acquired. Have your teammates around you. Stay at range. So we're about 500 right now. It's New good. target acquired. Target destroyed. And again, other mechs are Enemy superior target to this build um, for long-range support, acquired. but it's fun to play. Target acquired. So now you realize these two mechs over there can see me. 
taking a little bit of risk to kind of go over there and peek out. See, you don't want to trade like that because you can Okay, so he sees you. Um, a lot of mistakes, a lot of times pugs make mistakes like they keep peeking out the same location over and over again. Like, the guy's already seen you, so he knows where to Target shoot. Acquired. So move. That guy's got a gauze rifle too, so that battle master. New target acquired. Heat You're not getting critical. any advantage when you trade like that uh, with the battle master, New but for against the mislinks, then you know you can probably get better trades. New target acquired. New target acquired. Okay, so you can see the Stormcore has like two RPPCs. New target acquired. Heat level critical. Probably not the best to keep trading with him like that, so. New and I just saw that acquired. my whole team has left me, so uh gotta move to where my New team target is. Acquired. New target acquired. Target acquired. Heat level critical. Too hot, cool. Gonna cool down a bit. New target acquired. So you see I'm kind of laying off critical. the New large lasers. Acquired. Like not firing them so quickly. New target acquired. New target acquired. And this mad dog here kind of chasing the storm crow. Didn't realize an atlas is down here. Heat level critical. All right, see, I'm getting hot. So again, laying off the large lasers a bit. Heat level critical. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Okay, yeah, so you don't want to be face to face with crabs like that. Left torso critical damage. Okay, two assaults now. New target acquired. Right torso critical damage. So I'm in a brawl situation where I don't want to be. Gauss rifle destroyed. Gauss ammo It's not a good brawler. Heat level critical. Target destroyed. So I can't really help it here. Uh, you know, New target acquired. Heat level critical. if we weren't 11, weren't winning 11-5, I would not do this. Left arm destroyed. AMS ammo destroyed. Large laser destroyed. Right torso destroyed. And that's game. Help that I had a good team. So I only recorded two games um, for this uh, gameplay video. Uh, the first game was just, just the, com the team just completely spread out and I didn't think it was representative of how I would play the Atlas. Um, I mean, the team was just terrible. <laughs> but, um, you know, the second game turns out to be like quite the opposite. Like, um, you know, did it, you shouldn't expect something like that every match, you know, maybe 400 to 600 damage. Um, would be a more appropriate kind of um, a match, but it, it kind of demonstrates how you would play this mech. So thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any feedback, leave it in the comments. Uh, if you like the video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe.